For some magic players, there's a deep dark desire to betray the ones they hold dear. A desire to look their friends in the face and say, I love you and we've had good times together, but what I really want is to ritual sacrifice you at this big scary altar and cause my opponents to throw their favorite cards into the doo-doo bin. And then I'm gonna raise your shriveled corpse from the dead and do it again. And to those people I say, that's cool and all, but while you choose to lead this strategy with little baby weenie hut juniors with such low power they couldn't even open a cookie jar, I prefer to lead with a big bad mama jama that not only opens the cookie jar, he smashes it so hard that every artifacts player feels a disturbance in the force. This is how to command and I'm gonna teach you all about Lord Tressorhorn. Om nom 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 nom. Lord Tressorhorn is an old card from a time when magic was young, which means his text reads like a bad Stephen King novel, so let me paraphrase. He's a 10-4 zombie for four that reads, when Lord Tressorhorn enters the battlefield, you lose two life, sacrifice two creatures, target opponent draws two cards, and you have to promise to pick your friend up at the airport at 5 a.m. Also, he can regenerate for a single black mana. Now on paper, this might not look very good. Yes, his power is mighty, but paying life, losing creatures, and giving my opponent two cards sounds awful. Wrong! In fact, it's one of our many win conditions in a deck that also gives us the colors to play what I affectionately call Grix's Tribal Jumbler. We start with Hakan, a big scary stinky man who lets you play knights from your graveyard. Now pepper some Ashes of the Fallen all over and name knights. Congrats, you can now play any creature that dies over and over. But let's not stop there. How about we play Conspiracy and name zombies? And to spice that up, drop a rooftop storm that makes zombies free to cast. Now you've got zombie knights that are infinitely replayable. But how about we also play Arcane Adaptation and name humans with our Zathra Necromancer out? Hell, now we've got human zombie knights that are infinitely replayable for free from the graveyard and make zombies when they die. And I hear you, this sounds like magical Christmas land. But you have not lived until you've cast a vampire, human, zombie, shaman knight and milled your opponent for a million, all the while making zombies and tiny baby mana rocks to use for other shenanigans. It's important to have sacrifice outlets in a deck like this, so pick your favorite and jam them on in here. My personal favorite is the slug. It generates colored mana, which to me makes it better than the altar. But more importantly, it wants you to play all snowlands to take advantage of its haste effect, which means you get to flaunt a pile of $1 basics and fan yourself with your giant wad of cash while your peasant opponents play actual good magic. But who cares about them? You're over here making devil cleric zombie knights and sacrificing them to drain some much needed life. And the best part about this is Big T here slots in perfectly to fit this strategy, forcing your opponents to draw if you've milled them, acting as a sacrifice outlet if you need it, and also possessing the hidden technique passed down by the elders of swinging in for 10 and then cackling maniacally as you cast Tain to Strike and kill them via poison, thereby ruining your friendship with them. But that's okay, half the reason this deck works is because nobody has a goddamn clue what you're doing so you find new friends to surprise. Aristocrats is a fun strategy for anyone who likes solving Rubik's cubes or things playing Minesweeper is fun. It requires a cunning mind and the ability to see how a thousand tiny cuts can lead to the downfall of an empire. A strategy that's a lot like creating a Rube Goldberg machine, only instead of the end result being that breakfast is made, it instead kills people and brings them back more times than a J.J. Abrams film.